All right, so we're trying to make Chloe roll over so we can do her hooves, which we haven't done the whole time we've had her. This is gonna be a huge pain in the butt because she's huge and she will fight and she will scream and, um, oh my gosh. <laughs> but she just has to learn that this is for her own good. The chickens are pecking my boots. Rolls. I'm gonna try to flip her. Ready? Oh! No. Dad, Dad, scratch her and kind of push her. Here, where did I put? You're gonna try to run immediately. Ready? Hold on. Let me help. Don't let her go towards you. I need to grab that foot. Ready? Gosh, it's huge. <laughs> So, my dad has been working on the fence for a couple days now, and, well, since it was winter, he hasn't worked on it in a while, so he just started working on it again a few days ago, and he's got this whole side done, and he's about to do this part, and then it'll be finished, and we can put Buckeye and Pop on here so they have different grass, and it's all fresh with none of their poop, so they don't have to smell their poop anymore over there. <laughs> and it, it's about the same size as their other pen, maybe bigger, a little bit bigger, right? It's a little bit bigger. Mm, yeah. And um, when we chewed Clover's hooves, um, she almost broke our eardrums, and I think she broke hers too because she just stood there for a minute after. <laughs> like that's her fault for breaking her own eardrums. Yeah, man, it was wild. <laughs> And then she was kicking, and she kicked my finger, and it hurt a lot. She's a strong animal. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to have to do Buckeye and Papa and Lavender one day. And then we're going to have to do Clover again. But hopefully Clover has learned because um, now she knows it makes her feet feel better. Because I, I, wasn't she kind of, like, limping on her foot because it, like... Well, her foot was twisting. Or yeah, or something like that because it, it grew a lot. We are almost done with the new pig fence. Yay! We let Danky out because now he's learned not to swat at the baby goats. So he won't hurt them. So we are um, good to let him out because we know he will not hurt the baby goats. And plus the baby goats can head butt him back if he tries to do anything. Yes. So, um, last weekend it was really, really windy, and some trees fell down because of that. And one of those trees that fell down, it had a little nest in it. I don't know if it's old or if it's new. Dad, does it look old? Because I think it looks old. It looks old. Yeah. So, thankfully, no birds were using that at the time, because that would have been really sad. They had to remake this all over again, 
and that's a big process. So yeah, there's a nest that fell. Wait, Dad, what type of tree is this? I think it's on my toolbox. Danky. Dad, what type of tree is this that fell? I'm not sure, sure. Tasty. It looks like a sassafras because of the red and. Danky! Danky! I think you like it over here. Yes, they will really like it. And they will clear out all the weeds that is over here. And fun fact. There was that one really tiny um, evergreen. Right by the marker right there. Okay. Okay, so that. There is the evergreen. Okay, I'll talk to them. There is an evergreen that is right here. That's like a foot tall, right? And then my dad planted it at the same exact time as that one. And they were like the same age. Dad, is, you just chose a bad spot for this one, but a good spot for that one. Huh? You chose a bad spot for this one and a good spot for that one. I don't know what happened. Back on. I mean, these two are also the same age. All these evergreens are the same age. Bro, well, this one got the best soil. Don't you think? That's a pretty tree. Yes, it's very pretty. Well, too bad we can't use it as a Christmas tree because it is way too tall. And a fat. Thank My dad. He's gonna ask me which tool is which, and I'm gonna tell him if I get it wrong, well then that sucks for me. All right, go. What is it? Channel lock. Channel locks. I don't know any other tool here, so. What's that gray thing? T-post driver. What's that hammer looking thing? That? Yeah. Pickaxe. Pickaxe, wow. Dad, Dad. What's that thing laying over there? That silver thing. Level. A level. What's that thing leaning in the bush with the yellow handle? Hog panel. Oh, um. <laughs> is a rake? A rake. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no. It, there's a lot of names for that kind of thing, I think. I don't know. No, there isn't. I don't know. <laughs> And then this one, which is a. I already said it. I did. That's a T post driver. No, the red. Oh. That's just a branch trimmer. Oh, branch trimmer. It's called branch trimmer. Actually, it's called easy cut extend. Never mind, that's not what it's called. <laughs> hey, baby, don't you jump around, man. It's your thought. Yeah. We're going to have a bond party. And this is a razor. Utility knife. Utility knife. And this is a, it looks like a different type of channel lock. It looks old. And then these are tweezers, or cutting wire things, tweezers. Wires. Yeah, I said cutting wire thing. Wires. Okay, and water. Even though water isn't a tool. Okay. Do you know the names of the other two tools down there? Two tools. Two tools. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure they have a name, but they're just to help with putting on. Uh, Allen wrench. T post clips. No, that's not an Allen wrench. Well, if if you like, see how you laid it down, it looks like an Allen wrench if you take off the blue. Dad, we're done. You just need it with the gate. Yeah, I know. Well, that gate over there, too. You, you already had that gate. Oh. <laughs> well, Dad, so are you going to make another fence that goes up there? Maybe. Not right now. I'm going to do a couple fences back. Like, you know, back between the bucks and the pigs. Yeah. Which are really weird, because how are you going to get your tractor out? I'm going to make the tractor come out this side. Oh. Well, lawnmower? 
Let me go out the back side. I'm going to leave room. Uh, my mission for today is to make healthy salads for the pigs. So we are going to start with the salads for the boy pigs. So all we need, and I'll teach you how to do this. All we need is a simple bucket. This will do. And you can go around your property. Well, first, we are going to put a, just a tiny little handful of hay. Just that much. So they have some healthy hay in there. And then when you go out to your pasture, you will see a bunch of grass and weeds and plants and all that stuff. And whatever funny plant you find, you can stuff it in there. Like these purple plants, for instance. I'm gonna grab a couple of them, put them in there. So now it's time to give the little pigs their salad. And then I'm gonna feed all the animals. I just went around in a circle, that was fun. Alright, zero this salad isn't for <laughs> this salad isn't for you. You're just jumping. A salad is easy. It's my mad the baby goats. It's my mad the baby goats. Zero! <laughs> baby Lou, you say hi, chicken. Baby Jojo. No. Thank you. Do what did you do to your water? So how are these uh, guineas and cheeks doing? So one of the guineas is Cricket, another one is Pearl, and one of the orange ones is Samantha. And I named both of the black ones. One is Midnight and one is Twilight. Because when they get older, they're gonna be like black and white and, and the nice sky is black and white. So, you know, Midnight, Twilight, <laughs> yeah. It's so cute, <laughs> Come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh. You screaming? You screaming? You were so cute. 
your foot. <laughs> no, watch the gimmies. They're so fast. <laughs> Flash. Here, if I try to catch one, it'll be so loud. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, guinea, guinea, guinea pig. Oh, there we go. This is a guinea, a guinea pig. Look at this. So we are going to move the boars over here to the new pasture and they have the little pig glue over there with all that straw we took. Papa, are you gonna find your little place to go to bed, huh? Come on. Papa, turn around, there's a door. There's a door! Ah! There's a door, Papa. There's a door. Say us a Freyas. Say us a Freyas. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'm super happy we were able to trim Clover's hooves. I mean, it almost burst my eardrums, but at least we did it. And she was fighting really hard and it hurt my finger. And naming those tools was pretty easy because I knew most of them. But then the utility knife and the, the pliers, like I don't know why I called them tweezers, but that's just me. <laughs> And I'm really happy that we moved Paw Paw and Buckeye over to the new pasture. So now, when they go back to their old one, they have a bunch of plants and weeds to eat. Because right now, they ate them all, so they didn't really have much stuff to graze on. But in this new place, they have a bunch of stuff to graze on. But anyway, see you guys next time on this crazy farm. <laughs>